And here we are once again back in Ashford, Arizona. Take a look at this. I found some people. They're building now. It looks like they moved in. That's good. That's good to see because improvement will go on the, on the surrounding land, especially the roads. And look at the fence. They have already fenced it in. That's something I definitely need to do to mine. And look here. This road was so terrible. Look at this. They've improved the road. What? You see the deer over there? Oh, I just couldn't see it on the camera quite because I was filming on my phone. All this footage is from my phone. So I really couldn't tell if I captured the deer or not. But you saw a glimpse of it. So anyway, back to this road. I'm glad they fixed it up. Really good. Now it's easy to get easier to get in and get out because it was getting pretty rough. In fact, look at this. The reason this is cut off because people were going that way now, cutting into someone's land because this was getting so bad. But now, as you can see, they fixed this up, making it nice and smooth for any car to go. So you don't need even need a truck anymore. You can go through here in any car as long as, as, long as it's not lower down to the ground, obviously. Right here, we also, the road was getting so bad that we were cutting in through this other person's land. And obviously, as you can see, they put up a sign saying no trespassing. But I understand no one wants to, uh, people having, cutting in through their land. But the good thing is that they fixed this other road. So we're able to drive down this road now. And right here at the end of this road is where the land begins. As you can see, some other people moved in there. Nice. I like it. I actually stopped to talk to them and they said they're living there full time and they're the ones responsible for fixing that road. Here, my idea for this trip was actually to tie balloons to all four posts of the land and then take an aerial view with my drone so that I can see the entire four posts, the entire rectangular shape of the land. Unfortunately, it was extremely windy this day, so I wasn't able to fly the drone at all. Here you can see one of the posts with the balloon and that road that brought me into the land. So pretty smooth now. It's pretty quick to get to the land now. Since I couldn't do what I wanted to do, we headed into town. And this sign I've never seen before. I've driven so many times. It's right off Route 66. So it was a perfect photo opportunity for my beautiful daughter. And as you can see, the sign is right on Route 66. Oh yeah, I keep finding my way back here all the time. And this sign was right by it too. I can't really tell if it's really old or kind of new. I also came across this house in the downtown area. I just liked it, so I videoed it a bit. <laughs> and I finally, finally came down to stop at this uh, gift shop so that I can check it out and finally get a souvenir. Nice. I don't know why I like it. I like all these uh, antique looking uh, souvenirs. Look at this old gas pump. I don't know what this was. I don't, it doesn't look very old. It's just some kind of tricycle. It should put a motor on that thing. <laughs> There's my daughter and her doggy. Oh yeah. You know I had to take a picture there. My daughter couldn't reach so I couldn't get her in there. I found this interesting. A bunch of emblems from different cars. Interesting. They're not that old. And of course, yes, 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 here I go. Got to get my picture right here. That's actually how happy I look every time I'm on my motorcycle. <laughs> anyway, just checking out the murals here. And, and I was just excited to finally get to stop here and go into the store. Look at this. They have a little kind of a replica of the town you know it's, it's pretty small here the downtown area Ashford is bigger than this but I found that you know kind of nice I wanted to go in but the open sign wasn't on nothing take a look at these this sign people can you believe this this place is only open on Friday Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 30 p.m. what the heck I wasn't able to get my souvenir so if anyone ever decides to stop, now you know the store hours, all right? So you don't be this, you don't get disappointed like myself. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Look, look at the the store itself. You know, 
I don't know. This is on Route 66. This is one of the only places I don't have a souvenir from. Well, maybe, maybe next time. Next time. So you can see all the stuff I carried from the land. I had some dirt for my backyard and some rocks for a Gambian that I was building there that I actually built last year. But look at the town. They're cleaning it up. I told you they were last time I was here. Now they got, uh, uh, it's a bit cleaned up more. The, the houses are, uh, they're painting them, fixing them up. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad I came through here. So this is where I'm going to end my video, people. On this Route 66 sign. All right. Hey, I hope you enjoyed it. And next time, come out with me, Ashford, Arizona. Take care. Have a good one. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.